Good day, you too. Yeah, um, we etch with hydrochloric acid, at least I do, and some of you probably also do, and we'll have this problem of disposing of the, yeah, the used etch chemicals because it is contaminated with um, copper chloride. This is the green stuff that is in solution, and there's a lot of a lot of the hydrochloric acid still in there and still very sour, which is not good to just dispose well into the sewage system. So I'll show you a reaction how to get the copper chloride out and to convert it into copper carbonate which then can be stored separately. Um, one thing about it, um, be careful. Uh, I need a little water. Um, always be careful when doing this because the reaction is uh, A little stormy exothermal reaction. So let's see. At first, we need some of this chemical here, which is uh, sodium carbonate. Um, and never mind, this is a very cheap chemical, so not much of a problem here. Um, I'm wearing this protective glasses just in case it should spread around so it doesn't hit my eyes. So now let's start the reaction and look what happens. As you can see, be careful. One nice thing about the reaction is it that really gets you the most beautiful blue. Yeah, well, I've got in too much anyway. So the blue, it's more like a very milky sort of blue if you do it right. This is not a milky blue, it's a very deep ocean blue. You see, if you are not careful, this is what might happen. Yeah, now we have, see, now we have uh, destroyed the harmony in there. Because we need the copper to fall out, and now it's in the solution again. Too much of the acid. Mm. Be careful. Although it's not a strong base, it's still a base. And I'm wearing protective glasses. Which means if I if something spreads around here I'll, my eyes will be protected. We need the solution to get milky because we need the copper carbonate to fall out. No more reaction here. Doesn't look like it. So I guess if one of the solutions, uh, the uh, um, so, um, sodium carbonate or the acid, whatever way you do it, doesn't react anymore, it means that it's done. equilibrium there. Yeah. Yeah, now it's done. It's completely neutralized.
Well, it can give you the most beautiful blue, but um, it's, it's a matter of um, mixture. Try it out yourself and you will see. Now, we use a filter, I use a, a normal coffee filter or something to fil filtrate out um, the copper carbonate and then the rest of the brew you can put into your sink. Yeah. One more tip. I say thanks for watching and see you soon.